Daniel Ament remembers vaping last September and then waking up more than a month later after an emergency double lung transplant to save his life. I couldn't talk or move because my muscles had all atrophied. So like I didn't have enough strength to even like lift up my head. He and his mother Tammy recalled those harrowing weeks. 40 days went by since you went to the first ER and you don't have any memory until after the lung transplant. I lost all my They give you a basically. medication yeah. that makes you forget. He's speaking out now to warn against e-cigarettes. I just don't want this to happen to other people. As strong as his story is, nicotine addiction from vaping is hard to break, even in his own family. His twin brother can't stop vaping. I asked him this morning if he wants to stop and if he, you know, if he wants my help to get help, and he said maybe, but he stopped for a while, but he went back to it. Well, what do you tell your brother? That he's being stupid. Daniel, who is 17, now takes 20 pills a day and will be on medication for the rest of his life. And his dream of being a Navy SEAL is finished. Today, his goal is more modest, to live. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Gross Point, Michigan.